everybody on YouTube. This is Rusty at Possum Bayou. Tonight, I don't really have a layout update, but I did manage to assemble the overhead gantry crane from Monroe Models. This is an in-scale model that I had bought from Mike Pfeiffer. He kind of recommended this thing. It looks pretty good, so we're going to go on to the video and see how it turned out. Okay, we are going to start this little build. I'm going to do a little bit to it. First off, I'm going to open it up. Looks like we got a few little pieces in there. Got some plastic and metal pieces. So let's open this thing up and see what's in it. First off, I'm going to say we got the little the hook for the crane. It come with a little piece of string. These two sides. These two cross beams. Some trolley piece. And these two plastic things for the for the foundation for it to sit on. It does have a little bit of instructions, but it looks pretty straightforward anyway. So let's see what we can continue on with this thing. And you got a little flash right here on the end of there. Let's take a little smoothing out. Like a little piece of something there. Uh, take a little bit of smoothing some places on it. Uh, not a whole lot of flash on it, to be honest with you. It's really not much at all. Pretty good little molding job. There's not much flash really to file. I'll use these little things here. It's always due to file it. Pretty simple to do. It's not that hard, really. So I'll get to doing that. Okay, now I've let the glue dry on here in this little handy metal tray with the little magnetic, magnetic blocks. And I held everything till the glue cure worked. like it did pretty good okay now I get ready to put it up put the two pieces those two pieces together and here it is glued together It was actually not too hard to do. Uh, actually, once you had the two pieces on it, kind of standing there on its own, the glue just hadn't quite set up yet, but there you go. This little tray with these little magnetic blocks sure does help hold stuff together to the glue dries for you. Even, you know, especially those first two pieces, they could stand on their own. Once I put them all together and held them in place for a few seconds with this stuff right here. I prefer the gel type because they don't run everywhere. Let's see if you can we can get focused in on that. Boom, boom. This is the hook. You have to have small drill bits to drill the hole like it like is in this hook. With a pin vise, that's the main tool I use. I had to do 
One of these was just a smidgen longer than the other, these rails in the top, so I had to take a file and file it off a little bit. But other than that, it was pretty easy to get to this point. And there we are with the little trolley or carriage on top. Uh, we got some string in there to make up something. Plus, I got the uh, concrete foundations to go with. Next step to do is to paint all of it and to rig the little wire or the cable on it. Look here, folks. I have an audience today. What are you doing, Raven? Don't jump on there. No. Daddy's got his crane on the on that. I guess you're going to behave, maybe. Anyway, here's that crane. Different views of the thing. Getting ready to paint it with some of this. Finish rattling this off. Well, now we can wait and let it dry and do a little weathering on it and see how it turns out. Now, I got this in matte. wasn't the exact color I wanted, but I think it'll be pretty good. The color I kind of wanted was gloss, but I found with this type of paint, if it's gloss, uh, that dull coat and all that other stuff just never makes it completely flat. So and that's what I wanted this to be. So we'll weather it here after it dries off and see how it looks. Well, as you can see, I got all the pieces painted. I painted the crane and the little trolley there with the cryoline paint. I painted the foundation with this concrete top coat from Woodland Scenics. So now we just glue it all the rest of it together, rig the hook on it, and do some weathering to it. Okay, here we go. We got this wash going on on here. Make sure we get it on most of it here. Do this end of it. It's a little bit heavy. Let's do this end piece. Go upstroke, kind of get it under there and let it, gravity take it down. One of the things, what I did to get a lot of that off is to take this dryer brush, this dry brush, and kind of go over it with that. So it makes it look like it's dirty, but not just totally overwhelmed with the wash. Well, here it is sitting here on the layout there. I don't know if that's where it'd be. I'll just sit it there just to give an idea. Look what we have. Not bad looking little thing. Don't look too bad at all.
here we go. It's not a bad looking little kit once it gets all together, painted and weathered. Even threading that hook for the for the lift it wasn't too bad hard either. So just just assemble it and keep the metal part and the plastic concrete bases separate when you paint them. Then glue it on there and then do your rust streaks from there. That does look pretty good. It was very easy to assemble. Hope everybody enjoyed the video of my little build of the Monroe Models overhead gantry crane. I got the idea to put one of those together. I've been kind of looking into one of those anyway, and I made a comment on one of my Pfeiffer's videos about, I was thinking about doing one, and he recommended I get the kit. So, next, so the next day I ordered one from him, and I got it, and he was right. It's a pretty good little kit. What I liked about it was it took very little using of files on the metal parts. I was surprised. Now, I'm not saying there's none, but there's very, very little filing had to be done. And the rosin part of it, the little castings for the concrete foundations were done very well. They have indentions in the top to where the bottom part of that crane fits right into it. Real planned out, real well planned out model. The little hook, you got to have a, a number 62 drill bit to drill the little hole in there to run the, the cabling through for your gant for the gantry trolley that's on the or runs on the rails on the top of it. I basically use some tight bond su super glue, not tight bond, but Loctite super glue, the gel type to put it together. I used a one of those magnetic metal trays. I also order, had ordered that from Mike Pfeiffer too that come with it uh, at the same time with that little kit. I found that using those things, holding those together and holding them square like they needed to be was very handy to put that little kit together. So I recommend that little magnetic tray. I've seen Cousin Vinny use one of those as well on some of his scratch builds. That's where I got the idea. Now if you have a spot on your layout, some little small industrial spot or a repair in place little track or something, that would be a good little kit to put in that spot. It's like I'm saying, it was easy to build, not much to it, and easy to paint, plenty of details, it looks nice. So if you're thinking about maybe getting one of those, or you're thinking about some kind of little crane like that, take a look at that Monroe Models overhead crane. Thanks for watching. And don't look, don't forget to subscribe and suggest this to other people. Say, hey, look, there's this fool who talks about these trains. Remember.